my nose, eh? She wants, she wants to feel. But wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Does she cook good? I want her meatballs. Commedia dell'arte, comedy of art or comedy of the profession, means unwritten or improvised drama. This peculiar art form had a long life in Italy, probably of about 400 years, from the 14th to the 18th century. But it flourished especially in the 16th and 17th centuries. Of course, in actual practice, the play was not in any sense completely unrehearsed. The subject was chosen, the characters conceived and named, the relations to one another determined, and the situations clearly outlined, all beforehand. The material was divided into acts and scenes with a prologue. The situations were made clear, together with the turn of action and the outcome of each scene. When this general outline, called also scenario or canvas, was filled, it left the opportunity for the actors to use their talents and embellish as they please. She had the spicy meatball. The spicy meatball! The spicy meatball! Wow! Like this big? It's great big spicy meatball. Oh, big loud spicy! The necessity for smoothness, constant surprise, clearness, and wit required great skill unknown to the medieval stage. Such parts required actors to make a serious study of their parts. Actors took pride in their achievements and were willing to accept the discipline which all professional art demands. These comedians changed forever the standards of acting. The best of them stamped with their parts with individuality, freshness, and brilliance, and gave value to pieces which often enough were otherwise worthless. The Commedia dell'arte introduced a professional actor into Europe. The Commedia dell'arte was concerned mostly with disgraceful love intrigues, clever tricks to get money or outwit some simpleton. There were the same long lost children stolen by the Turks, the same plotting maids, bragging captains, aged fathers and wily wi widows. Each gentleman had his weakness, each woman her confidant. There was considerable diversity of incident, such as night scenes, obscure excuses for nude scenes, and a great deal of comedy through scenario and circumstance. The Commedia performance were much more character-based than plot-based. The whole point of the Commedia acts were to get the audience to focus more on the characters than the actual story. The characters had specific traits and characteristics, and people were trained for their roles in depth, so they knew their characters in and out. As Commedia progressed more and more, serious characters such as Pantalone began to develop from the funny characters like the Zani. Zani! Brigella is a crafty, quick, unscrupulous servant who is often paired with Arlecchino. He thrives on double dealings, intrigues, and foul play. He is a cynical liar who only looks out for himself and is never repentant when caught in wrongdoing. He is sleazy, seductive, and dangerous. He executes his crimes ingeniously. He offers assistance to innocents, scoping opportunities to steal from the unsuspecting. Money for him is worthy only the, pl only the pleasure provides, and he loves nothing but his own pleasure. He is a drunk and boisterous debaucherer who readily insults anyone weaker. Brigella is lazy but can move quickly, almost imperceptibly. He slinks without much muscular effort and he stays still, ready to pounce. He might blithely be cleaning his nails with a knife which will soon cut a throat. He's very powerful but conserves his energy. He sleeps with one eye open and gets very close to people when he speaks. He can sing and dance and drink with the best of them. His costume is usually trimmed in green. Columbina, one of the most famous female servants. These female servants were fresh and frisky, sometimes crafty and often without morals. They were known to make use of disguises, dressing up as doctors, barristers, and other servants. Columbina was often servant to the young lover, or Isabella, and was the smartest character in the scenario. She was anonymous, self-sufficient, and quite rational. She was usually paired with Arlecchino. She was sometimes known as Arlecchin. Oh my God, Tintino. 
hot. Oh, you know yeah. him? Just look at him. He's so hot. Do you know him? <laughs> yeah, no. That's Giuseppe. You don't know do you Giuseppe? Do you think Giuseppe would like me? Colomina was not afraid to show her buttamix contours or flaunt her robust hips. She was young in spirit, but mothered, but mothered the other servants. Originally robust in her gestures, she became lighter in her walk, more engaging in her manner, and less overtly sexual in the 17th century. She stands with her hands on the hips or holds a basket or tambourine while flirting audaciously with the young lover or Capitano, knowing that Arlecchino is her great love. Pantalone was one of the first old men of the Commedia. He originated in Venice as a wealthy, miserly, paranoid, lustful merchant. Ooh. He professes poverty, but money is his obsession. He finds elaborate ways to hoard it, count it, hide it, manipulate ends, and avoid sending. He is lascivious and thinks that he is a master at seducing beautiful young women. But if he had to choose between a beautiful young woman and money, <laughs> he would go for the money first. While he seems to control finances in the Commedia scene, he suspects that everyone is out to deceive him. And he may be right, since usually he gets duped in the end. He complains about his physical ailments, aching back, bad knees, gout, etc. That conveniently comes, to go comes and goes at his discretion. He is sometimes married to La Signora character, and or is the father of one of the young lovers. Or he is lusting after a sweet young thing. He wants his son or daughter to marry into a family with money and is especially disgruntled by his lazy or lustful son. His physical characteristics are his pelvis is tilted under. He's not as hunched over as one might mistake in an old man. His knees are bent with his heels together. Toes are pointing outward. He runs and walks, heels first. His hands and fingers actively fidget in counting money or holding money, his money pouch, which conveniently hangs between his legs. In spite of being old and sick, he is surprisingly agile. <laughs> he can be quite acrobatic when being foiled by servants, beautiful women, and his family. Pantalone is usually, usually has a curled pointed beard, red leggings, and a long cape denoting higher status. Arlecchino Harlequin probably the most famous comedian character. Being one of the servants, also known as Zani, Arlecchino is like a five-year-old. He is eager to please his master or mistress, one of the lovers, or pantalon. Pantalon! His first attention is to food. How to get it, how to savor it, how to preserve it for later. He loves tricks and physical antics. and seldom considers the consequences until it's too late. He's never malicious. Arlecchino is sympathetic to everyone's misfortunes, to a fault. Arlecchino usually cannot read, which makes him confuse messages sent by lovers. He's ignorant, yet clever, slow mentally, but, slow mentally, but quick physically. His actions and moods can change in an instant. He may fall in love with Columbina, but it is puppy love, never lustful. Many people in Venice actually wore masks in everyday life. They provided a shield to hide behind and, beca and people became a little more adventurous and less adhered to the rules of society. There were many different types of masks used in performing commedia and the characteristics of each helped the audience to recognize each character. Most of the time, only the grotesque performers wore masks while the more refined characters did not. Masks covered only the top half of the face, freezing it in a specific expression while the mouth was left exposed so people could speak. Many master people had long phallic noses as sexual innuendo ran rampant throughout the Cubadia scene. Been doing with them. Yeah, she's been hot with them. She's been very physical with them. Oh, physical, I know what you mean. Yeah. Women did not usually wear masks while performing, and if they did, they were small and covered only the eyes. Masks were both a significant part of Cubadia as well as the Venetian culture. Masks were used in other types of theater too, like Greece, Kabuki, and No. Greeks used actual masks, while Kabuki and No used face paint as masks. What does Moliere have to do with Commedia? Well, see, he is kind of the next evolution of the Commedia style. 
he takes it and gives a little more sophistication. We see the miser, there isn't too much more. There's still a lot of goofy slapstick comedy, simple characters. But later, when he gets to the misanthrope, there's still the basic archetypical characters. But we get into a little more sophistication, a little more layered meanings. OK. Simpsons are a modern day version of Commedia, connected through using mass amounts of Lazis, such as when Homer says, go, or when he drinks a lot of beer, or when the fat man from the comic store is to go, worst anything ever. Like, say, for instance, it's the worst, it's like a really bad episode that doesn't make any sense. He'll say, worst episode ever, and that's what'll be in tail. And then you always have someone else like Sideshow Bob who's in there, and he steps on the rake. Once, not that funny. Twice, okay. 17 times, awesome. That's a lot <laughs> One example of Commedia seen on a regular basis on our home television shows is whose line is it anyway? In this case, they have certain scenarios that they're meant to act out, and they use different forms. They use props, you know, they use lotsies, and there's a way if their skit's going bad or something, they'll use a universal form of comedy to make sure that the audience is laughing and to make sure that they keep their skits humorous. End scene. Yeah! <laughs> A is a random act when nobody's expecting it. No. <laughs> Should I be like this? <laughs> I want to see my boyfriend. Why not? Lotsy? <laughs> <laughs> See, a Lotsi is a recurring plot device that we stick in that actually has nothing to do with the plot in order to, to save the play when everything's going wrong. Get it? Stat. Oh my god, there's a groundhog on you! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Stick on you! The Lotsi? I don't know. I'm. Oh! 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 A latte is a random comedic act to save a play. Oh, that doesn't hurt me! That doesn't hurt! Are you alright? <laughs> it seems cool. A latte is something actors use to make a. <laughs> These comedians change forever the standards of acting. The best of them stand with their parts with individuality, freshness, and brilliance and gave value to pieces which often enough were otherwise worthless. End scene.